Wait. You just said marry the man she loves, which is Malik, or the man who loves her. Hey, you guys just spoiled it for me that she loves him. This is Aroma here, and welcome back to Fantasia. We are here with the game, and I have to pick who we're going to be sitting with. I just realized the developer actually told me how to pronounce the one place that I keep pronouncing wrong, and I should have looked at it before I started this video, so I can pronounce it correctly this time, <laughs> and not incorrectly, but load up the comment she says to pronounce it Rikua Rikua so that's how I should be pronouncing it so let's not butcher that up anymore but should we sit with Fatima and Altair Fatima and Malik Altair and Zen or Zen and Malik <laughs> I wish there was an option to sit between Altair and Malik but we don't have that choice I don't know how this is gonna affect anything, but I would sit with Fatima and Malik. I'm sorry, Ash, but you can't sit near the princess. What? Altair said this is necessary for my survival, although I don't know why. Fine then. I can't. I can't even. Why give me that option? Why give me that option? <laughs> I'm assuming I can't sit between Fatima and Altair then. So, I'm just gonna sit with Zen and Malik. Lady Ash, sit here! Here! Oh, at least Zen, like, is hyped up to see me, I guess. It's the next task, Ash. You just... Mood flipper. He patted the ground beside him happily as Malik smiled and moved up, giving you, a spa giving you a space to sit down. The five of you gather around the pot of soup and take your separate portions. I didn't know you also had eating utensils in that cart of yours. Eh, don't even ask. Halt! Altair suddenly stood up and everyone froze. I still don't trust you two. Zen, since you're in charge of cooking, I want you to take the first bite. I guess I guess it's okay for Altair to be so like cautious about everything, cause we all just met today, so I, I guess. Are you accusing me of poisoning you all? I'm deeply offended by this, sir. Altair, how could you? I mean, he's just being cautious. I'm sorry, princess. We simply cannot risk it. Now, Zen, the food. <sighs> fine, fine. If that's what it will take for you to see me as a good person, sir. <laughs> Zen takes a spoonful of soup and gobbles it up. He keeps doing so until his bowl is empty. Now that's delightful. Anyone else want to try? Sure. Ash will go ahead. Right, Ash? I'll tear aside a motion for everyone else to start eating. You didn't realize that you had finished your plate. You ate so quickly. It was indeed very good. Oh, um, can I have one more serving? Please, to satisfy. Something caught your eye, though. Malik appeared to be just stirring the soup in his bowl. Do you not like vegetables? <laughs> Malik, the soup is really delicious. You've got to eat it while it's still hot. He just stared into his bowl and sure. Believe me, Malik, this is the best soup I've ever eaten. Let him be, princess. He's a grown man who can absolutely do what he wants, even if he's slowing us down. S sorry sorry I'll eat now. What's wrong with Malik? Is he okay? Malik started eating his soup, albeit very slowly. You could see him smiling a little, though. Alright, now let us hear about demons. What? <laughs> I want to know more about your people. What is so bad about demons anyway? The fact that they serve the demon lord? It's not like we have a choice, though. We were born in the realm, and he owns the realm, and we have nowhere else to live. Yeah, you can't blame them for who they had to follow. They didn't have anyone else to look up to. And I'm pretty sure if they, like, rebelled against them, they're gonna die. It's like he's basically our landlady, and the one who keeps the man for rent to boot. That's a good way of putting it. In any case, us demons are people, regardless of race, who were given a second chance in order to fulfill the strong emotions we had before death, our last wish. They are mostly negative emotions, though, hence why we are labeled as violent. Oh, oh, but you never saw me as violent, right? I never lashed out or anything. No, he's just a simple merchant man that's selling seashells and stuff. 
Of course, Zen. I can't even imagine you being violent. I'm honored. Do you have anything to add, Lady Ash? Either way, do you remember anything about your past life? How does your life and death work? Can you still be reborn if your goals are unfulfilled? Come on, I don't want to hear about the gloomy stuff. Can't you guys, like, have children? What? No. So instead of talking about gloomy stuff, let's talk about making babies. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Malik, are you seriously asking that? I'm just curious. Ugh, you and all your perverse questions. Hmm, I want to know about your stages of life. I heard that demons go through three stages of life. Oh, that's a good question. Sure, tell me, enlighten me, because I also do not know anything. Hmm, let's see. We usually don't have a clear memory about what we used to be when we were alive. They tend to come back in bits and pieces. I, for one, remember what happened when I died. It's not a pleasant memory. My memories before that are a bit hazy, though. Maybe because I died pretty young. I never had the chance to grow up like now. So being a demon partly is a blessing for me. I I'm sorry to hear that. I truly am. She died when she was young? And the first memory she remembers is her death? That would give me nightmares forever. As for the next question. Hey, is it possible to let Lady Ash answer just one of those questions this time? Talk like this could actually trigger one of her painful memories. I understand. Go ahead, Ash. Oh, you're giving me choices here. Tell them about your stages of life. Uh, let's save this real quick. Tell them about making little demon children. <laughs> Tell them about the cycle of life and death. Um... I, if it was me in Ash's position, I wouldn't open up too quickly, so I wouldn't tell him my stages of life. I'll probably tell him the cycle of life and death. I'm not down for telling them how to make demon children. I'm sure they know how that happens. So. I'm going to go with the cycle of life and death. No one truly knows about our life and de uh, death cycle. We live only to fulfill the goal we had just before we died. And what was your goal then? I'll tear. Sorry, I can't tell. Fair enough. Should we not achieve enough of that goal? Or if it drives us mad in the end and we take our own life, we cease to exist. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that belch or whatever I just had, but... <laughs> However, I heard about a demon who had been reborn over and over, mostly due to their curse. Alright. Shay, wasn't it? That's Shay, right? <laughs> yes. In any case, our goals drive us, but if we somehow manage to fulfill them, then our souls can rest in peace. And that's enough in my opinion. The demons born in the age after Thanos are a lot luckier. They haven't had the chance to experience what it's like living in the realm. It was awful, younger demons being made to work for the stronger ones. I was lucky to have someone watch over me. If not, I probably would have had my life cut short. The realm was a little overpopulated, I guess. Thank you for your kind ex explanations. I'm sure this will change our opinions of demons. Uh, I don't know about Altair. He, he still seems like he's not down for it. Your life is already hard as it, as it is. We shouldn't add more to it with preconceived ideas of you. If only everyone thought like you, Lady Fatima. Maybe then. But we demons are just like other races, good or bad. It ultimately all depends on the individual. Just because Zen and I aren't hostile doesn't mean others aren't. But some of us just want to redeem ourselves, is all. Facts, Altair. Same. In any case, I apologize for my behavior earlier. I feel like Art Altair has just been constantly apologizing, and I feel bad. But he, his quick personality to judge is there, so we can't fix that. You two have proven to be quite trustworthy for the time being. I hope that we can continue this journey without any further mistrust and animosity between us. I think so too. Let's all get along. Thank you. You continue eating while making small talk with each other, seemingly at ease for a little while. It was all because Princess Fatima wanted to know more about your kind that you were able to get along a little better with everyone. Someone with a pure heart like that, do you really have to kill her? No! We do not have to kill her! We finally reached the end of your journey. In the demo version! Oh my god, I could have just finished this in the other game? In the other episode? Oh well, it's fine or whatever. It's over already? Yeah man, it's over already? Will you will you finally kill the princess or will you help her on her journey instead? I'm gonna help her. Who's that? 
We encourage her to end up with a dashing prince from the Valdrox Empire and retake her kingdom. Well, whoever he is is pretty cute from the shadow silhouette. Oh no. <laughs> and then they, they remind me about Malik and Altair. Oh god, everyone's so good looking. Or will she escape her fate and marry the man she loves? Or the man who loves her? Wait! You just said marry the man she loves, which is Malik, or the man who loves her. Hey, you guys just spoiled it for me that she loves him. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or, or am I kidding? Or, I don't know. Or are you going to steal one of those two dashing men for yourself? Wait, what? Steal two, two of them? I can have them both? Oh god. <laughs> oh! Oh! How about me then? I'm also dashing. In my own way. <laughs> Shut up. You always die anyway. <laughs> you always die anyway. Oh my god. They killed Zen? You bastards. I'm pretty sure that counts as a spoiler. Wait, he dies? He dies? Guys. <laughs> oh, or better yet, forget about all of them. You can gently pick up the princess herself and run towards the sunset. Or stuff. Oh wait, are they talking about this in Ash's point of view? I'm confused. I don't know, these romance games are sort of like that. Please also support Azure X Twilight towards the game completion by purchasing her commissions. More info on her DeviantArt. Click over here. Ta-da! Uh, ta I will say ta-da. It's ta-ta. Ta-ta for now. Oh, I'm so confused. So... Were those love options in Ash's, sorry, in Ash's point of view, or Fatima's point of view? Either way, I'm very confused, and I just feel like they just gave us a bunch of spoilers. Unless it's like, fake spoilers? Like, they're, they're saying we, that, they're saying Zen is dead, but he's not dead? I don't know, I hate trick games like this, like they're playing with my mind. But, anyway! I have no idea when this game will be fully completed, but I cannot wait. Especially because, again guys, the full game is gonna be free, which is really insane. But, I don't know how to feel. Who am I gonna fall in love with? Is it? And I don't know if we're playing through Ash's route or Fatima's route when we're trying to pick our lover. So, I guess everybody is up for grabs. <laughs> And whoever this prince is that we haven't seen yet, I'm praying he's not that good looking, low key, because it's gonna just, it's just, you're gonna throw another candidate in my bowl that is already full. And I don't know who to pick. I don't know. This is too much. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the playthrough of what we have so far. Um, I have everything linked down below. You guys can also support all these people. Well, all these people as in. <laughs> as you're in the editor the like proofreader but anyway thank you guys for watching stay beautiful and if you guys have any other games you want to recommend me you can definitely leave it down below but i'll see you guys in the next not next one i'll see you guys the next time Some